welcome, welcome to Chump Change, everybody, the post show where we talk about the truth hidden behind the lies. I'm your host, Jeremy Dooley, and I'm once again joined by the cast of Cat, Chill, Elena, and Cheesy. Welcome back, everybody, uh, to delve into these stories uh, and what we didn't get to hear during the actual show. So the first thing I got to talk about before we get into the stories we didn't get to hear, let's talk about what we did here. This whole farmer debacle that went down. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be addressed. Oh. So, what, what what the truth ended up being was so cheesy. If I'm getting this correct, you were filming something with your friends. Your friend hit you with a pis- a real pistol or a prop pistol. It's a it's a prop pistol. So it's it's like made out of plastic. It has metal bits in it, but it, it's it's plastic mostly. And then by the time the pistol was away, is when the farmers showed up, and then didn't shoo you off your land but just simply said to you be careful there's bulls and then left. <laughs> yeah actually they the farmers came before we we got all the props ready um so they showed up before i had even filmed everything anything we had you know driven like an hour out from where i live in, in oklahoma um and, and they, they roll up on us almost immediately as we're breaking into their ranch um it was it was almost comedic how quick it was that like i rolled up i'm like okay this location looks good uh i get out of the car and then a truck rolls up and is immediately like what are you guys doing here um which surprised me because you'd imagine i mean you've probably been on, on like a road trip driving down the highways there's like nothing but i guess they really monitor their land um yeah which is which was nuts yeah, hooligans like you were breaking in getting pistol whipped <laughs> and filming it Potentially, i think they were more scared that the like the bowl would hurt me and then I, they would be liable for like damages or something like that i don't oh know That's i need a, i need to talk to uh the crew on this show about how we phrase things like because that's like saying that's like saying oh i once <laughs> broke into a bank and got shot and then the story ends up being that like your friend shot you in the foot and then you ran into a bank. It's like, <laughs> they but like, that would also you know, be a crazy whoa. story though. That would also be just as crazy yeah. as a story. My friend yeah. shot me and then I ran into a bank. <laughs> yeah. I ran into a bank. Honestly, it's like, how'd you run in there? Oh it made the yeah. lie uh, so difficult to, to lie about, like, because you just right. have like, well, how the hell do I come up with the fact that, yeah, I got pistol whipped on a farm and then didn't go to trial, didn't talk to lawyers or cops? Like, it's just like, yeah. Uh, yeah. no one's story was believable. <laughs> it was it, it, it definitely, uh, I, I think if you actually got pistol whipped by farmers, you it wouldn't be a story you'd be talking about. Just a comical story. Right. Uh, yeah, I love it. It goes back to Kat and Kat's like, what was the fact again? Like, like, <laughs> like, like oh, for three on pistol. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, though. Was I, oh my God. Yeah. No, just um, after production on that student film, we were just worried. We were like, oh God, we really could have gotten shot there if they had seen us pointing like guns at each other and stuff. It could have been bad. Right. It could have been yeah. real bad. Yeah. Oh um. So that was that was shockingly one of the true stories that we heard. Uh, during all this, but we also heard some lies. So uh, I want to go to Elena and hear about the story that we didn't get to hear, which is uh, almost went home with the wrong family from the beach. So uh, what happened? How close was Cheesy to this? Uh, what went down? Uh, it, he was not super close. So what happened was I was about, I think, probably like nine or 10. And I had become friends with this girl on the beach. And she was about my age. I don't remember her name, but she was really, really nice. Um, so she never playing. And then she had to leave around the same time that I had to leave. So I walked up and there's like a whole set of stairs. Like it's a huge flight of stairs. Um, and like she and I are walking and I'm walking with her and her family completely ahead of my family. Um, and then we got to the top of the staircase and I look at them and I'm like, you are not my parents um because i'd forgotten <laughs> that this girl <laughs> that her family and was not we were not related um so i end up stopping at the top of the stairs i turn around look down the stairs my parents aren't anywhere to be found um 
So the family actually had to wait with me and call my mom because they were still walking up. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it was it was just a very like <laughs> awkward like, oh, you're not my family and I don't know where my parents actually are. They were down there, but now we're all the way up here. Um, and my mom was very upset about that, but you know. <laughs> but you made a friend. Yeah. I made a friend. Yay! 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 You found. That was found. Yeah, it worked yeah. out. But my mom was definitely very much like, "We are your family. Why don't you want to be with us?" And I was like, "Cause she had, she was cool. And they gave me snacks." So. <laughs> oh my god. The same applies if you're trying to kidnap Elena today. Be cool and have snacks. Very easy. If you, if you, just, if you, there you got go. a fruit by the foot, I swear to God, I will follow you anywhere. Like I'll just be like, yeah. all right, where are we going? <laughs> Best friends for life. Uh, and speaking of making friends, uh, Elena said because Elena was lying about the moth story, which was cheesy story, uh, but said that a lot of her story was came from a place of truth because you made friends with a spider on New Year's. Is that what it was? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> New Year's, New Year's slash New Year's Eve, uh, you know, celebrating with with my roommate and one of our other friends. And I started not feeling that great, so I just go to the bathroom. I sit on the floor because it's really cold and really like comforting. I see the spider on the little edge of the bathtub. It's just a little daddy long leg. So it wasn't anything sketchy. And I just put him in my hand and I literally like stayed like this. There's a picture somewhere. Um, I I think my roommate has it, but I'm just sitting there like this, holding this spider. Um, I eventually took it with me to the living room and then I was taking pictures of it. And then when I looked at my phone, I looked back and the spider was gone. So- Oh no. Yeah, I actually never saw him again. So the, the, everything was the truth except for the fact that it wasn't yeah. a law. <laughs> it was, alive. It, it, it was uh, alive more or less right it was yeah it was alive <laughs> but i don't know if it is anymore because i have no idea what happened to it because that was, the couch is just a sea of pillows so it was likely maybe <laughs> crushed like elena looking away and then looking back and just being like Oh, I, know, I, actually, I went through that. My... I was so sad. My my roommate looked at me. I'm go, I go. The spider's gone. He goes. What? I'm like he ran away. He goes. What do you mean? I go. I took a picture of him and now he's gone. I was so upset. Like I was so hurt over the fact that the spider disappeared. And I tried looking for him. Like a tiny, a tiny daddy long leg amongst a sea of gray slash black pillows. <laughs> The daddy long leg said he was gonna go get cigarettes. He never came back. He never came back. He never came back. <laughs> never came back. Oh, oh no. Cheesy. So the mm -hmm. real moth story uh, came from you. You drunkenly befriended mm -hmm. a moth. How, what was the friendship? What was the occasion? What happened? Yes. Yeah, so I was I was drinking alone. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I needed to go to the bathroom. And so, uh, went to go, went to go take a poop and I look inside of the toilet bowl. There's a little moth friend inside of the toilet bowl. And I'm like pretty drunk at this point. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, we could be friends. We could bond. We can poop together. Cause he's in, he, of course, if the moth is in the toilet bowl, he has to be taking a poop. And so I right. take a poop with the moth in the bowl. <laughs> Oh, and then I. <laughs> Wait, this is what friends do to you. This is so much worse than what I expected. <laughs> You know, if we you told this story, you wouldn't have been believable. It would have been wrong immediately. No, absolutely not. <laughs> we bonded over a mutual pooping. It was beautiful. Um, and then, you know, I went downstairs to get a pizza because I had, like, ordered pizza that night. Uh, and I saw the moth in, like, the hallway. And I'm like, you're my friend. Here, have this. And I, like, left the pizza on the carpet overnight for the moth. <laughs> <laughs> because I, the moth was my friend at that point. I wanted him to share pizza. I was like, this pizza is delicious. You got to have it, man. And then I went to go. I like I immediately went into my room, like crashed in the bed, um, woke up. The pizza's still there. The moth is gone. Uh, no bites <laughs> taken out of the pizza. Was a little was a little offended by that. No but... <laughs> bites taken out of the pizza. Like the moth was going <laughs> to. OK, the did you ever fly traumatized? I need to know, did you ever find the moth again? Yeah, just look for the moth that's covered no. in shit. <laughs> that's what you okay, got. See, that's <laughs> 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 
Oh, no, I've never found insane. the moth again. Moth disappeared okay, after so, that. So I did tell My someone the truth of that as well. Yeah. They just never come back. Yeah. You bond with them, and then they go and they leave, and they never come back. That's so. Bugs. Makes bugs are bug. bad friends. <laughs> yeah. Bugs, bugs are, are really friends. bad friends. That's that's the moral that's of the, the story. Title of the episode. Guaranteed <laughs> no, the, the bugs... title of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> the only no, oh. moral of the story is just zoomers with a question mark. That's the thing. I was reading the. Oh, I was reading man. the chat as well, and everyone's like, she just, you know, Elena radiates the white girl energy of just befriending anything when she's drunk. And I was like, you know what? That's completely <laughs> true, do. but I don't know how to feel about <laughs> that. They're like, she seems yeah. like the type of person that would become friends with the moth. And I was like, what does that mean? Is it, is it the You plan? really do. Is it, <laughs> you really do, though. It's the same yeah. thing of the, that you've befriended a stray cat. It's the same deal. That's, okay. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. I don't I open this like a big heart cats. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah it's just uh, i mean it's just like oh hello uh, friend that's all hello i love you <laughs> and uh Actually, Jill, the next you time you say the truth. butterfly think of us Catch. right so you ended up telling the truth Jill, about your story the retainer dive there um oh and... yeah no you cat it on the head i was valiant i was chivalrous just threw out her retainer at panda express <laughs> uh straight into the trash and we didn't realize it till we walked back in and it like straight out of a, like a, a a comedy movie they were just wheeling out that trash into the garbage and you just had no idea which black bag it was in so i jumped in there and started ripping open black bags uh and you just had rice kung pao beef uh, uh sesame oh, chicken uh, and, uh, found it on uh, the third bag still wrapped third in a napkin bag. And then Jess went home and sterilized it. And I was just like, wow. And you know, that that's how, that's how Jess can never give me crap for anything. Cause I'll remind her, I jumped in a dumpster to find your retainer. Uh, and yeah, hero, and hero for days. Them first, were you, like you went up yeah. to the counter first and was oh, like, yeah, hey, we, we to trash? I need to, yeah. It was just like, oh, it's like a funny story. Jessica threw away a retainer. Where's the dumpster? And uh, they just, they just pointed. And then they asked, did we find it on the way out? And we're like, yeah. And they just gave us like that weird look like, oh, you went in there. It's like, yeah, what are we gonna do? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's dedication, though. Yeah, that's uh, genuine. That's a dedication. wedding story. That's that's really romantic, actually. It's genuinely yeah. very romantic. Yeah. Hey, stepping in somebody's uh, noodles not as romantic, but other than that, everything yeah. leading up to that. <laughs> yeah. Don't step in a okay, bag of right? rice. What's romantic? Oh. Oh, Bonding to Jesse was was basically pooping on something. You don't like poop with your friends in the same bowl no, whenever you're trying to get I've closer? Never, oh, geez, I, 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 I've right. never pooped. Like when oh, I was no, with that please. spider, that spider was in my like my hand, but I held him away because I was like, I don't want it to I don't want it to be around that. Yeah. Telling you, Jeremy, oh, no. these zoomers are getting right. on the show. These zoomers, yeah, they don't know what's going on. Right. They don't know. They don't know what's going on. Um oh. got uh you were in a tough position here with what we gave you i'm just gonna tell you that you did, <laughs> yeah. you did the best you could uh <laughs> like one point is a oh, take that. that's triumph. um i'll take so, it so but again i uh want to thank you cat i want to thank you chill elena cheesy for coming by for this episode and to everyone watching thanks for being a first member you help support the show keep it going so we can keep make more episodes uh let us know in the comments who you want to see for the next episode and uh, you know what? We'll see you in a couple of weeks for another episode of Chump Change. Woo! And with that, have yourselves a good night, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.